The United States and the Kingdom of Thailand have shared a long history of friendship for nearly 200 years. We Americans are proud that King Bumipon was born in Cambridge, Massachusetts, where his father was studying medicine at Harvard, making His Majesty the only U.S.-born monarch in history. We remember His Majesty's first state visit in 1960 at the invitation of President Dwight Eisenhower, when the king followed his natural human desire, as he put it, to see his birthplace. He called the United States half of his motherland. Thank you so much, Mr. President. And thank you for the kind words you have just spoken now. We remember His Majesty's visit to his birthplace at Mount Auburn Hospital, where he reunited with the doctor and the nurses who brought him into the world. He called them friends who were his friends before his birth. We remember his address at the joint meeting of the United States Congress, where he said he wanted to know how in the United States, millions of people differing in race, tradition, and belief can live together freely and in happy harmony. I thank you for your kind indulgence. crowds of people in New York City who gathered to hail the King and Queen of Thailand at a huge ticker tape parade. The fabric of our relationship reaches far beyond the policies between governments. It is made up of thousands if not millions of personal and professional contacts. As His Majesty eloquently stated to the United States Congress, Friendship of one government for another is an important thing, but it is friendship of one people for another that assuredly guarantees peace and progress. We at the United States Embassy in Thailand remember and will always remember the great King Umipon Adunyadet. We'll remember him in our hearts and how fortunate we all were to have learned from this remarkable king. In remembrance of His Majesty, the late King Pumipon Adulyadeh's close relationship and his contribution to many foreign countries, NBT World has a great honor from His Excellency U.S. Ambassador Mr. Glyn T. Davis to give last farewell to the late King. As the United States Ambassador to the Kingdom of Thailand, I'm very happy to have the chance to come here today to say a few words about the late, great King Pumipon Nadunyadet, King Rama IX. Americans revere King Rama IX. We're very proud of the fact that he is the only king in history ever born in the United States of America. We came to know the king very early in his reign, he came to the United States of America and traveled all across the country from Hawaii to Los Angeles to Washington, Boston, and New York. During that visit, he explained to Americans his goals for the Kingdom of Thailand. He addressed a joint session of the United States Congress and he said, friendship of governments for each other is one thing, but it is friendship of one people for another that, assured, that assuredly guarantees peace and progress. We learned from the king so much about the kingdom of Thailand. We learned so much about his compassion, his gentleness, his commitment, his dedication, his humbleness about his plans for improving the life of his subjects, 
Americans regard him as the father of the modern friendship between Thailand and the United States of America. And we know that the king understood that he had inherited a long line of uh, friendship between the United States uh, and Thailand uh, that had begun almost 150 years before uh, uh, during the reign of King uh, Rama II. All across the United States of America during this period, Americans will mark the passing of the king from Los Angeles to Boston, where King Bhumipon Square in Cambridge, Massachusetts will be the site of a commemoration. Americans will remember the king. We revere him. We recall all he did to promote the friendship between the United States of America and uh, Thailand. And we will always remember how he helped Thailand to develop, how he was always dedicated to the people of the Kingdom of Thailand. The fact that he was, in so many respects, a king by virtue. For all of those reasons, we will miss him greatly uh, as uh, we mark the end of one year of mourning uh, in uh, the United States and here in Thailand at his passing. We've done so much to remember the king. We've released videos to remind the people of Thailand about his role in developing and sustaining the friendship and the alliance between Thailand uh, and the United States. We've planted marigolds that we uh, have been growing uh, at the embassy uh, in commemoration of the king's passing. We've sought in every way we can to show respect for King Bhumipon, to honor his legacy, and to ensure that we in the United States of America will never forget the great King Bhumipon Adunya Det and all that he did for the people of Thailand, for the region of Southeast Asia, and for the friendship between Thailand and the United States of America. Thank you very much. Kapko Makrab. Sawadee krab.